for example, Shabbos, right? And, you know, I like the rabbi and so on and so forth. I'm coming for the rabbi. But let's say Ayinik Shabbos is a problem, why? Because let's say the women there, uh, let's say, you know, you see there are high heels on the floor or something like that. And to you, it's like uh, in your mind, uh, alarms go off. So is it better not to go there or to still go there? So one, uh, one more time, the, the situation. So there is, um... I'm, I'm saying you, you like, uh, you, you're going for the rabbi, right? Good rabbi. But the kids, not so good. The kids are like, uh, the, the, the yeshivish, but, uh, only in dress. You see what I mean? And, you know, all they do is talk, talk, talk. You never see them study Torah. It's, so it's, better, it's better not, not to go there. The, the, the whole atmosphere is poisonous, uh-huh. you know, and, um, that's, that's what we're learning in, um, in the Hilchot Diot, it, it, it's, it's actually, yeah, yeah. In, in Hilchot Diot, it's like uh, in, in chapter six, so we're going to go do, to, to get to it. So we are in chapter five, I think, if I remember correctly, and in chapter six, in the very next chapter. So we, we're going to say, so Rambam is going to explain the atmosphere around you, it's going to poison the person. Like all of these people that he's in contact, it's guaranteed that he, he, they're going to, to poison him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Understand. You understand? So that's uh, that's very dangerous uh, road to go. Mm-hmm.